The other day I was listening to my iPhone earbuds and a short began to form. I was very upset by this. Why? But then I remember that Rich's Methods is on YouTube. It's a great resource for finding videos on fixing things. I was able to fix my headphones so that they're as good as new. Hey guys, back in February I had a video called How to Fix or Repair Headphones. I had a great response to this video and I appreciate the views. However, I had a lot of questions on how to fix headphone sets that have something a little extra. Things like a microphone, a bass boost, or things of that nature. Uh, in order to fix headphone sets like this, you're going to have to purchase a headphone plug called a TRRS plug. I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. However, for now, you can find that plug online. I got mine at showmecables.com. I'm going to put a link in the description below. I'm also going to put a link in the upper left corner of your screen, and that's going to be to my original video. That's going to show you how to prepare the wires and how to actually solder them onto the plug itself. So let's get this started so you can start enjoying your music, like I said on my original video. Okay guys, so here is the headphone plug from my iPod earbuds that have a microphone. And you can tell that this takes a TRRS plug, which stands for Tip Ring Ring Sleeve. And uh, you can tell if you need this TRRS plug by looking at the number of rings that are on your headphone plug. If you have three white or black, uh, it could be different colors, there's three white rings here. That means that this is a TRRS plug. The other plug that I showed in my other video is a TRS plug. You can tell if you need that one if it only has two lines. This one has two black lines. That means that it's a TRS plug. So that's really easy to tell a difference here. One has two and the other one has three. I got this plug, however. This was really hard to find. Um, but you can get it online. I don't see, I haven't found it in stores yet, uh, but online I got it at show, showmecables.com. That's S H O W M E C A B L E S.com. I'll have the link uh, below in the uh, description. I paid $7.14 for this plug, um, so it was relatively cheap, and uh, they had great service. Uh, came very quickly in the mail. And uh, it's the four conductor, 3.5 millimeter plug with metal housing. And here's a picture of it over here. And uh, this comes apart similar to uh, the other plug, or the TRS plug in my other video. You simply just unscrew the bottom. And you can see the internal part of the plug itself. Also inside here, there is a, there is a plastic piece that you want to pull out. Make sure to save this plastic piece, don't lose it. Because once you're done uh, soldering everything onto this plug, you can simply slip the sleeve over everything and that protects it from making contact with this housing. So make sure you don't lose this. Also again make sure to thread your wire through here first and then solder it onto this plug or you'll end up having to take everything apart again which I've said in my other video I had to do before and it's a pain in the neck. Um, so this plug everything is, is relatively small it might be hard to see on the video I'll wait till it kind of zooms in a little bit on it and you're going to see there's a very small conduct connector that's in the middle here. This small tip here corresponds to the green wire that's in your plug. So that's the real tiny tip uh, right in the center. The one that's right below it, right here, um, that will get your red wire. So you're going to solder the red wire on here. Again, make sure that there's no uh, wire con connecting to each other. You don't want to have any crosstalk there. This little piece that's sticking out, that's jutting out, which is right here, that is going to get the copper. That's your ground. So these two center ones, these are your headphones. These are the actual speakers. The one jutting out on the side is your ground. And then this big part here is the microphone and the volume uh, control. And again, you can stick the wire through the hole here and solder it on. So that'd be the easiest to get to. So just to explain what the plug is, TRRS stands for Tip Ring Ring Sleeve. So let's start from the outside. This part here that's going to get the microphone is the sleeve. So you can see that goes down. And that connects to this top part here when you stick the plug actually into like the iPod. Um, this part that's sticking out on the side that's uh, jutting out is going to be your ground. And that, can, that corresponds to this, this ring here. So that's the ring. That's the, the R and TRRS. The second ring down here is that middle portion, the middle connector, that's going to get the uh, red wire. And I'm not sure if that's the right or left, but it's one of the speakers. And then the one in the very middle, the very tiny one, 
it's going to be a pain to solder on, so just be careful. This very small one at the middle corresponds to the tip of the plug. Okay, so I cut open my iPhone earbuds. Uh, these have a microphone again. And uh, I had five wires inside. I know there's only four here. Uh, however, there was two copper wires. I've twisted them together. They're, on the, they're at the top of your screen here. There's also a red wire and a green wire. They might be, depending on the brand you have, this green wire could look blue. So it could be blue-green or green. So you recognize these three from my last video, the copper, the red, and the green. They're the generic normal uh, wires you see in a headphone. And then you see that there's this red and green striped wire. This is a wire that a lot of people were asking the questions about online. Uh, this is what is, gives your headphones the microphone capability and uh, your volume adjustment. And uh, I'm going to show you how to connect these. Also, this uh, red and green wire, it looks like that there's a white wire in the middle here. A technique that I like to suggest uh, in order to get this enamel coating off is by using a lighter. Uh, it's actually pretty simple, just be careful you don't, you know, catch anything on fire. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to light just the tips, you're going to light just a very light tip, and you see it just went up the wire there. Make sure you blow it out, and then just use a little bit of sandpaper to get the soot off the wire itself. Uh, because we've used the lighter technique, uh, you have to watch, it actually takes off a lot of that enamel, and that's leaving this wire exposed, which means that they can touch each other. So like the green could touch the red, and it can touch the copper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the wires a little bit shorter. I'm only gonna leave about like a quarter of an inch, or about a quarter, yeah, about a quarter of an inch. And that way, now when I solder it back on, um, a lot of these wires won't be touching each other. So I'm just going to repeat the same step I just showed you, uh, but I just wanted to warn you um, that you might have a little bit of crosstalk there if you leave them too long. So here we have our plug that I showed you before. Uh, one of the viewers actually recommended a thing called tinning the wire. And what you're going to do is you're going to be placing a little bit of solder on each of these connectors, and you're going to have it come out just a little bit, and this is going to make it a little easier to solder the wires actually onto the plug. So here I'm going to have the solder, I'm going to touch it just to the tip of the plug of the connection. And I'm going to melt it a little bit onto the plug. There we go, so that's tinned on. You see I took a little piece of the solder and I put it onto the plug. That way now I can actually put the wire onto that piece of solder. It makes it a lot easier. A tip that I'd like to recommend is to use a piece of Play-Doh or silly putty or something like that. Something that won't really stick on the plug itself, of course, but something that actually can hold it in place while you solder these wires on. I found that to be a little bit easier uh, when you're soldering. Okay guys, so here I have everything soldered on. Um, also, just another quick tip. At the end here, there's little two metal prongs. What I did was I took a pair of pliers and I just bended it over the wire itself. That way the wire is held in place uh, when you're taking the plug in and out. Make sure again to have that silver housing on and to put this black cover over the wires themselves so they're not connecting this housing. Alright guys, well good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And uh, I guess I will see you on YouTube. Bye.